color is 10 out of 10. The taste is not though. Wait, oh, it's more. I've gotten giddy thinking about Christmas. Oh. Oh my god. That has a lot of chili. This house is roasting. I'm sweating buckets. It's good water. It's good water. Hey, I'm back. And today we're gonna taste some freaky foods. Okay, they are absolutely not freaky at all. But they're just things that I've never tasted before. Therefore, they're quite exotic to me. You know? Yeah, I went to the shop the last day and I picked out a few bits that I haven't tried before. Now, they're literally like potatoes and like biscuits and stuff that I haven't tried. So it's nothing too extreme. Yeah, I'm excited because I'm hungry. They all look nice, so. I'm hoping they're nice. But first I need some water because this room is literally so warm. Mm. So before I start this video, I actually got three drinks and I only have one drink left because one of the drinks was for a baby. I was literally looking at it and there was literally a picture of a baby on the drink. But no, of course, I still got it. It was like an apple juice in a glass and I was like, oh my God, dreamy, that would be so refreshing. This apple juice, I had never tasted. I have tasted apple juice before, but this specific apple juice, I hadn't tasted. Then the more I looked at it, I was like, Something's off. I'm getting bad vibes of this apple juice. And then I looked at the back and it says four months plus. Now I am four months plus, but yeah. But then thinking about it, it's probably okay. But anyways, I threw it out because I opened it and gave Cree some and then threw it out and then so I have one drink left um well yeah we'll start off with the actually we'll start off with the drink because if I like it and there's a f some food there that I don't like I can taste the drink so I'm going to start off with this it's the chupa chups grape flavor sparkling now I want to see did you know that hack, if you go like this a few times, all the like, I can't talk today, all the fizz goes like down a little bit so it doesn't explode in your face. Oh, I chipped a nail. It's all right, we'll live. Now I brought a little shot glass because I actually want to see the color of this drink. <gasps> it's purple. Purplish. Like a light purple. That did not disappoint, you know. I haven't tasted it yet, so it might disappoint in that way, but the color did not disappoint. Okay, let me get a straw. Also, the straw matches. That's cute. Okay. Um, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. It tastes a bit, I can't, I've tasted this taste before and I can't explain 
the taste, but I just can't explain it. It's it almost tastes kind of perfumey. So like four out of ten maybe for me. Sorry, Chuck Chups. The color though. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna add more. I'm gonna add more to the shot glass. It tastes like rock shandy. That does not taste like rock or shandy. Or like, uh, what do you call it? Big root juice? Rock? Or, what do you call it? Beer root? G not ginger ale. No, roots. Root beer. Root beer. Rock shandy is oranges and this is grapes. No, uh, what is it? Yeah. No, actual rock shandy isn't oranges. What's rock shandy? Or shandy bass or something like that. It, rock shandy's orange juice. Is it shandy bass? I don't know. Something like that. They have freaky drinks up in the north because I went, uh, we were up in the north last day and what did your cousins make me try? That I'd never, the orange drink. You're going to sound mental on this. Why? Because it's not a freaky northern drink. It's a <laughs> fairly common drink. Like it's iron brew. Iron brew. <laughs> I mean, bro, it's like, okay, it's not freaky, but like I never, I never even heard of that drink. Sorry, I before I got distracted, I was meant to show you more of this, more of the color. The color is impressive. The color is ten out of ten. The taste is not though. Cree wants to join in. The alphabet's a social construct. <laughs> Statement of the year. Back to business, folks. Um. Sorry, just caught out came in there to change grey. Um, yeah, but as I was saying, not a fan of the drink. A big fan of the colour though. Like, really, that colour does it for me. That's all I'm a fan of. Um, so next, I'll probably try... Okay, I'm going to try these. People are going to be like, are you well? But I've never tasted them, and I've heard such good things, so I was like, perfect time. Cookie crisp. Um, yeah, I've heard that they're literally so nice. So, I got them. And we're going to taste them. Now, I'm not going to taste them with milk. I'm going to taste them with I feel like I love these. These could be like a nice little snack as well. Mm. They're really nice. Mm. Yeah. They're, now, they are really nice, but they're not the nicest cereal I've tried. So, wait, let's add some more. I'll give them I'm giving them like an eight. Which is really good. Isn't it weird that I've never tried these though? I don't know how I haven't. Because I used to, like, I lived on cereal when I was younger. Like, cereal, I would choose cereal over, like, chocolate. I'd choose cereal over, like, fizzy drink. A cereal just was my my thing like i loved it so i've t so i've like literally tasted all the cereals i remember there was one week and mom and dad went on holiday so i was left alone and they left like money for if i needed stuff at the shop or whatever i think what age was i at the time i think i was like 15 maybe my nan was staying with me and um, 
I think they left me like 100 euro or something. I rang my uncle. He brought me to the shop on a Saturday morning. And I literally kid you not. I spent like, I remember like 47 something on cereal. And I just lived on cereal that week. Lived on cereal. So it's weird that I haven't tried that. Um, but the cookie crisp, 8 out of 10. Enjoyed, but not my favourite cereal. And I do think of myself as a cereal connoisseur, so... That's a ballsy statement, but... You know. Um, next up... Hmm, what will I pick? Okay, I'm dying... No. I want to try these. Now, I am not sure what they are. Okay, so ingredients is cornmeal, milk, salt. That's literally all that's in them. Interesting. I've, I literally have no idea what these are going to taste like. So, and they're called buggy. Give them, you want to smell them first? I know they say don't smell your food, but, oh, they don't smell great. Like, they don't smell, like, much, but they don't smell class. They're very light. I know they're potatoes, but they're, like, lighter than the average potato, you know? Or the average crisp. I was told off last day because I call every crisps potatoes. And I feel like a lot of people do. Or maybe they don't. But I feel like they do because me and my cousins do it. And I got told off. They're like, what are you on about? Like, they're not called potatoes. Is it like brand? I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Anyways, I'm going to taste this. Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. There's some kind of powder outside of them that I'm not vibing with. Right, if the powder wasn't, sorry. If the powder wasn't on them, I feel like I wouldn't mind them as much. But the powder is just doing nothing for me. I'm trying to. They basically taste like corn cakes. Yeah, they're weird. I don't know what the powder tastes like. I think the powder is like sweetener powder. Yeah, no. I will not be repurchasing. I didn't I didn't hate them. But I didn't love them. They'd be getting like a three. I think they'd get like a five if the powder wasn't on them, but the powder just makes it kind of weird. And they literally like melt in your mouth. Um, so, I actually feel like I need some water. Up next is, okay. Now, you're gonna laugh at me because I told you the baby drink fiasco at the start but now the more I look at these I think they're baby food as well <laughs> but I've never tasted <laughs> I've never tasted them and I've never seen them and um, it's chicken flavoured baked cubes which sound kind of fun I love like chicken flavoured stuff and then it says Tell mommy that we there's no artificial colors. 
no palm oil, no added gluten, and not fried. So the fact that it says, tell mommy, I'm like, is this something for kids? Do you know what? I'm a big kid, it's fine. We move. Oh, they're hard to open. Okay, let me smell them first. Okay, did not expect that. They, I expected cubes this size. They are not that size. They're tiny. Okay. They just smell like chicken stuff. I'm just gonna taste one first because I'm not feeling brave. Okay. Very chickeny. Very, very chickeny. Oh, there's a weird aftertaste. They're just basically chicken flavored baby crudons. These are also a no for me. The aftertaste, they'd be a yeah if the aftertaste wasn't there, but the aftertaste really like would put you off them. The aftertaste is not nice at all. Um, they get stuck in your teeth, which is so annoying. That riles me up so much. Those little chicken baby crudons, probably three as well. Um, next up are these bad boys. These look tasty. So they're, I think they're like a, they're a gingerbread cookie, but they're vanilla flavored. I feel like I'm gonna like these. I love gingerbread. It just reminds me of Christmas. Also, when I was in this shop the last day, I got this little. I'm gonna show you. I got this little um, sachet for mulled wine. Guys, I literally to tell you, like, I've gotten giddy thinking about Christmas. I have to stop myself. I'm actually so bad. I love Christmas so much it's ridiculous like ridiculous um yeah but let's see these bad boys they're big oh they smell so good they look like a little macaroon but they're jumping okay i brought a little plate because Crumbs It's meant to be like vanilla gingerbread. It tastes, it tastes vanilla. And it has, it does have like the gingerbread texture. But it also tastes like very like, the first taste I got was like honey. And I suppose there is pictures of bees and honey so that would be a major red flag yeah I don't mind them I wouldn't be running to them I feel like they'd be a nice little like a Christmas biscuit if that makes sense they'd be getting like a 5 out of 10 for me um next up is a seaweed snack I'm actually really excited to try this I feel like this is gonna be my favorite out of the lot I do love seafood stuff so let's give it a go 
Let's see if I can open it. Okay. And it's chilly as well. It's chilly favorite. This is hard work. Okay. Oh, exciting. Look how pretty it looks. Oh. Oh my god. That has a lot of chili. Really nice though. This is definitely my favourite so far. 100%. Mmm. Ten out of ten. I need water. Still ten out of ten though. I really, really like that. I'm not actually gonna eat them later. And last but not least, I saved these because they're lays, they're walkers, but paprika. So I've tasted all the other walkers, but I've never tasted paprika. And I love paprika on like my food, so it's just a uh, seaweed on my lips. No, it's just no brainer. This smells so good. So nice. Um, the paprika. Ten out of ten. Yeah. So, I feel like I loved half the stuff, and I wasn't keen on the other half. You know, it is what it is. Maybe I'll do another video where I actually try like really, really, like I said, these were exotic. Now they were a bit exotic, like, but actual exotic food. Like go all out with like weird, weird and wonderful foods. Um, yeah. But that's my taste test done. That's all I got in the shop. I, like I said, I had more, more drinks, but one was baby juice and the other was, oh, did I actually tell you about the other one? My dad drank it. I was thick. I was thick out. That's the end of the video. But before I let you all go, you know what time it is? Summertime. <clears throat> no, it's quote time. So, I, I am actually gonna find a quote. Okay, I'm actually seeing an Albert Einstein quote. And who am I to deny Albert Einstein his moment, you know? So, life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. by Albert himself. I feel like that's a good one. Very wise words. Just keep moving people. Just keep riding that bike and we'll get there. That is it for this week. Thank you so much. See you all again later.